vantage point of a neighbor's home. It shows Kiera walking west, walking past the door to her apartment before she turns around, passing it again, and crossing the street before disappearing out of frame. The video was captured early Wednesday morning, the same day the post office says Kiera didn't show for work after her mother says she called in sick. But both her mother... Now, <clears throat> what I don't understand is why are they not showing us the video in its totality? They are giving us bits and pieces of the video. Like we, we can't really detect her characteristics. Like, okay, did she come from this car? If she did, would, would that explain why her person phone was in the car and if that's the case when she went this way and that listen that's the only time we would leave our personal belongings in the car especially our phones especially a female and her phone being left in the car the only time that happens is when we are about to go somewhere quickly back in the house or a couple of cars away or nine times out of ten we're not going too far if we're leaving our phones in the car so in this case she went towards her house towards her apartment my thing is why did she pass it okay why did she pass it did she see something that she didn't like and she just decided to fake the funk and and you know you know how like we kind of like pass by our house because we don't want nobody following us. We don't want nobody to know exactly where we stay at. So we kind of pass by to fake the phone. You know what I'm saying? Was this that case? And if so, are there any other cameras in the area that may show someone close by her? may show someone close up on her on that street it's just that we can't see them because they're you know away from the surveillance is there up some other surveillance footage and if it is i'm pretty sure the police have it and they're just letting us know that there's a missing person because police do this all the time y'all I'm, I'm gonna be honest Police keep footage that they don't want to show to the public. They do this all the time. They'll show us this, but then they'll keep what they don't want people to see because they're using it to investigate something. You know what I mean? In other words, uh, for instance, I'm going to show you in this video. They did it a, a few times in this video. I don't know if the news edited it out I don't know I'm pretty sure the police gave them the full um the full surveillance the full footage and the news just edited it out the way they wanted to do it to make a quick story or something I don't I don't know but and sometimes they do that my thing is they don't give us the full characteristics like once she passed by the door what did she do right here did she immediately turn around or did she stand there and look down the street? If she did look down the street, which direction did she look and then turn around? They're not giving us the full characteristics of her actions. So we really can't go by this. Now, did you see that truck pass by? 
where did that truck go? Did it turn down this street? Did it go further down? Where did it go? And this is a one-way street, by the way. So no one's just coming up this way. That truck didn't make a left. It had to either keep straight or make a right down this street. Where did that truck go? Okay. Now, I'm going to bring that back. Like I said, they, they did it a couple of times. All right. You're going to see a, some headlights down here. They're not going to show that car come down. Right now. Right now. Where did that car go? You see what I mean? Where did the car go? Then they show us her coming across the, uh, coming between her car and this car. I believe this is the car in front of her car. I believe that white car is her car, I believe. So, if they are showing us this part where she just pops up on the screen, do they want us, are they leading us to believe that she just came from between those cars? Did she go back to her car and then walk this way? Well, they say that she passed by her car. Let's, let's, let's bring this back just a little bit. Watch this. I want y'all to see something. This is something I peeped out. Now, I know it might be a small thing to a giant, but it's something I peeped out. Now, this whole time, that book bag that she has on her bike, apparently that's not her purse. I think it's one of those, uh, those uh, string tie book bags that you carry over your shoulders or whatever. Like a regular book bag, but it's just one of those little strain tie bags with the shoulder strings on it. Something to that extent, I believe, because I can't really see the bag, but I know it's a small book bag on her bag. When she come back past her door, her apartment door, ah. Uh, Okay, she's going to come back past her apartment door. Anyway, what I'm trying to show you is she took the book bag from off her back and started digging in it before she got about here, if you're following my cursor. She was about here. She took the book bag off and started digging in it when she got about here. And as you can see now, she still has it in position to where she can go in it. What made her take that book bag off and start digging in it as she passed her car? What is she reaching for in her book bag? These are things that are not being asked. I've never seen anyone really do a full study on the video. I'm pretty sure the police did, but you know, the police don't always talk to us. So as bloggers or vloggers, this is our job. You know, what we tend to take upon ourselves to do. So I'm asking, what was she reaching for when she got about here? Why did she feel the need to take the book bag off of her back and start digging in it as she passed her car? And again, did she leave her, her phone in the car? Or did someone abduct her? 
and put her phone back in the car to keep, you know, keep the traces. Because, you know, they can ping phones. I'm pretty sure people know that by now. You can ping phones. These are just curious questions that I feel need to be answered because this is the only way it, well, I hate to say it, I hate to break break the, the, you know, the obvious news, but she's been abducted. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Who leaves, listen, going on three months pregnant, you have a nice job, a nice job. You live in a nice neighborhood, right? I mean, it's not the best of the best, but it's a nice neighborhood. It's well taken care of from as far as we can see. Um, I've done some, uh, you know, routing, some map routing in the area, and it looks like a pretty nice neighborhood. As far as, um, I'm not talking about as far as neighbors, but as far as the area, the, the landscape, it looks like a pretty nice neighborhood. But what I'm getting at is, for you to be heading upward in your life, why would you just disappear on your own? You don't contact anyone. You don't contact family at all. It's obvious. She's been, I don't want to say kidnapped, but she's been taken against her will now there was rumor that her boyfriend made her call out from work that has not been cleared that information came from another YouTuber or another vlogger um, I'm not familiar with hearing that information from authorities I'm not familiar with that so who made her call out from work did she call out, out from work after this because who calls out from work but yet are seen with your work clothes on you're going on three months pregnant you want to be comfortable if you called out for work, you're just going to take your work clothes off. I mean, who wants to walk around with a bunch of polyester and boots on three months pregnant? So the call out from work, what's this after this? What's the call out from work? after this because to me obviously it wasn't before it why do she still have on her work clothes if she already called out so did her abductee or kidnapper make her call out from work so they won't come looking for her. to sort of buy them some time I mean obviously they had to know that somebody was going to come looking for her sooner or later mother, father, sister cousins, friends now if The case is that she called out after this footage was captured. If she called out after the footage was captured, then what do the abductee know about her? For him to make that call. What do the adeptie know 
about her for him to make that call him or she or however now another thing I want to look at also neighbor says that she called crossed the street and disappeared where's the details on that statement like not the written details I want to know like what does that mean cross the street and disappear what does that mean does it mean she crossed the street and you looked away and when you turned back around she was gone did you not see a car moving When you turned back around and she just disappeared, did you see the back end of a car, of a vehicle? Can we get these answers? I believe the answers lies in my questions these are not obvious questions but they are very great detailed questions that we need answers to now another thing I want to go over this is her building all right Like I said, I did some um, did some routing on the map. <clears throat> Pretty nice neighborhood. Again, as far as the landscape. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's decent. And again, this is a one-way street. Now, this is her apartment building. All right. And this is just to make it clear to you. This is the apartment building across the street from our apartment, and this is the house next to it. And you can see that in the video. Okay? So this is her street. And the direction she's going on the video is this direction. Now, what I did was, first thing I did, I looked around. I said, what could she have been looking at or looked down to? Because first of all, again, she passed by her door. This is her door. All right. This is her door. Now, I don't know how they enter this door. Do they have a key? Whoever lives in this apartment building, do they have a key and that's the only way you can get in? I'm pretty sure, right? For security reasons, right? I mean, they went as far as uh, had surveillance somewhere on the buildings. And let's see if we can find that. Um, see if we can find that camera. Give me a second. See if we can find that camera. Okay, one, two, and here. So let's bite this up. So one, two.
So that would be the third building, right? One, two. So it would be either this. So let's zoom in on that. So apparently it's not here, so it has to be the next building over. This is in uh, <clears throat> the street view was created in 2015 also so if there is a camera in this building it may not have been at that time so that's another thing we kind of got going against us right now Look like I'm gonna have to pull out the little magnifier. steps apparently there's an alleyway right now maybe and then it's this right here so if there's no camera there then that means in 2015 they didn't have a camera there so no steps the alleyway and right here Boom. so the camera should be somewhere here So they didn't have any surveillance on the building as of yet. All right. So anyway, So what I was looking at is the fact that after she passed by her door, she came back up the sidewalk. Now earlier when she came back, when she came this way and passed her door the first time, she cut through the cars and walked behind this tree on the other side of this tree, right? She went on the other side of that tree. So she cut through here. No, she came from here and cut through here and went on the other side of that tree. See what I mean? <laughs> she looked right at her door. She looked right at her apartment door. But she decided not to go in. What was that car? Where did that car go? Where did that truck go? She turned around and passed it again. Then there's another car coming down. Is this the same car that passed by the first time? You see what I'm saying? Like they're not giving us the video in totality, but she decides to come back up the sidewalk this time instead of crossing back over. 
she decided to come down the sidewalk, cut across here, and then cross the street, digging in her book bag. Was she meeting someone to give them something and he forced her to get in the car? Because this witness, this eyewitness is saying that she crossed the street and disappeared. Who the fuck does that? Unless she took it, uh, uh, another route through an alley, right? You didn't see no car pick her up, no nothing. She just crossed the street, disappeared. You're not indicating that you turned your head for a few seconds and turned back around and didn't see her. You're not, you're not indicating any of that, right? Now, this is across the street from her apartment building, right? And she cuts back down this sidewalk and come around this direction. Was she met here by somebody in a car or did somebody snatch her and pull her in the building? What the fuck, right? Did she take a route through the alley? You know, in between the buildings. Why would she? Because that would indicate that she's dodging somebody if she did do that. And they may have caught her on the other end. But those are just speculations, right? Because I'm still trying to figure out what does cross the street and disappear mean? We're not talking about alien abduction. What do cross the street and disappear mean? If anyone knows, please leave that down in the comment section. What does that mean? To cross the street and disappear. Does it mean that the witness turned their head, turned back around, and didn't see her? Did they see a car drive off when they turned back around? Because he obviously had to turn around for a slight second or so. Because if you're keeping an eye on somebody, you know how they disappear. And in thin air was not the answer. They didn't say she just disappeared in thin air. So they had to obviously turn their head and, and, and look at something else or tent to something else and came back and realized they didn't see her anymore. So I'm guessing they didn't see the car that she got in. Now for her to take a walk, let's show you how long of a walk she has to take. Going on three months pregnant, supposed to have been, been called out from work and you still have on this uniform. Let me show you how far of a walk she had to take. And I'm not saying, you know, three months pregnant, you can't bear certain conditions. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the fact that your body is going through changes, certain things you just don't want to fucking do. Understand, this is different than jumping in and out of a vehicle to put mail in somebody at somebody's door. You're taking a long stride for no apparent reason. So we're just going to stroll up. Stroll up the block.
Do y'all see how long this is taking to get to the next block? And this is if she was walking in a fast pace, the same way we've seen her walking in the video. And this is the next block. Now, from down here, do you think the neighbor would have seen her still walking up this sidewalk, at least from here, at least from here? I think they would have been able to. If you were really looking to see where a person went, I think they'll be able to see her walking up their sidewalk. Even if they turned around the tent or something else and came back and look, at, look back out, I'm pretty sure they could still see her walking up this sidewalk. Not only that, by this being called into a national attention all of these neighbors in these apartments I'm pretty sure somebody seen her come down this far if she came down this far so you mean tell me a case like this that, that got national attention No one in the rest of these buildings seen her come this far down. Everyone is at work. No one seen her come this far down except one neighbor. And that neighbor didn't even see her come this far down. Somebody's looking out of their window at all times. This is a very long of a stretch for no one to be looking out of the window. For no one to open their curtains for some sunshine. This is too far of a distance. of a stretch this is not like popping out of your door and then going around the corner you're walking up your street so my guess is either somebody snatched her and pulled, in one, pulled her in one of those buildings she got in a car she got in a vehicle Did she have keys or access to someone else's apartment across the street? Why was she digging in her, her book bag? I think she was meeting someone and they didn't bring her back. We need these answers questions. And I'm pretty sure the police need these answers, these same answers question. I'm pretty sure the police analyzed some of the things that I pointed out. Another thing too. One more thing before I go. When she came to her corner, right? To the corner of her street, right? On the corner of her apartment. 
This is the reason why I need to know if she looked down. Which direction did she look? Did she look this way? Because there's a very short distance to the next block down here. But you have a vehicle. So you wouldn't really be looking this direction to see which way would be the quickest to go. Because you have a vehicle. Okay? That would be the characteristics of somebody walking to a destination. But she chose to go back down this way. Pass her car. And started digging in her book bag. Went out of sight of surveillance. And vanished. 